What are some free things to do when you're bored? Read. The ducks at the park are free for the taking. Learn new cool things. I've opted out of all kinds of things throughout my life because of everyone saying that it was hard. I realized they were only saying that because they knew nothing about whatever it was. I'm 33 now and finally getting into all kinds of awesome things. Learning is your friend. Go to the library. Volunteer. Exercise. Pursue a hobby. Knit, cross stitch, sew, etc. Go to your nearest park, lay a blanket down on the grass, and just chill, a baby. Close all electronics and connect with anything your pets, the outdoors, other people. Practice wildlife photography, draw right, watch videos to learn life skills like sewing, cooking, vehicle maintenance, etc. Work out, take a walk, listen to music, talk to a friend. Endlessly scroll on Reddit. If you could telepathically say one thing to everyone, what would you say? It's actually pronounced yod. I wouldn't say anything. I just make a fart noise. Every single person on earth would either blame the person beside them or wonder if it was them. Imagine the chaos in city centers when every single person hears this fart. Imagine the global broadcasts once people realize this was an international phenomenon. A moment in history that will be remembered for millennium but a mystery that remains unsolved. You have a year to unite as one or die. We are coming to all subjects of Immer. My name is Aaron Yeager. I'm using the power of the founding titan to address all of Immer's subjects. Look to your left, look to your right, none of you are speaking these words, you have been made aware. Be excellent to each other. Show me what you got. All those who believe in telekinesis, raise my hand. Hey how you doing lil mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Whisper in your how not to cry while cutting onion. Don't have a relationship with the onion. Put a damp paper towel nearby to attract the vapors or swimming goggles. Step 1 try not to cry. Step 2 cry. Cry hard and cry a lot. Chewing gum. Sharpen your knife. Sharpen your knives. Great thing to know how to do. And if you're real bad about the onion crying then freeze them for 10-20 minutes before you cut them. But always cut them with a sharp knife. That crying gas is an aerosol. If you bludgeon it, it releases way more. Put shades on. Be a man and cry. Put them in the freezer for 5 or 10 minutes. Store them in the refrigerator source food detectives. Leave the butt on. Onion goggles. Those safety goggles used in science class. If you have access to a walk-in refrigerator, do it in there. Or do it outside if it's cold out. I heard that lighting a candle and placing it near you while cutting onions helps. 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 If Joe Biden knocked on your door right now wanting to chat, what would you do? Nobody interrupts my nightly existential crisis reddit scrolling time. Joe will have to wait till morning. Invite him in, offer him a drink, and ask what the hell he's doing in Canada right now. Be confused, I'm in Germany. I'd offer him a drink and once we are situated I'd ask about the aliens. Chat I guess? He would have come a long way to see me, and saying no would be rude. Offer him some corn pops. I mean it's a bit strange but I guess I have time. I'd at least be curious why he was here. Mr. President. It is midnight. Mr. President I hope this doesn't come off as rude but it is currently 1.30 a.m. and I believe we can chat another time. Introduce my dogs and cats. I don't really care who it is, I just like talking about my pets. Really high RN so I wouldn't answer. Sniff him first in an act of dominance. Minance, minance, minance. What band did you love as a teenager that you're embarrassed of now? Five Finger Death Punch. Lou Bega, Smiley Face, Smiley Face, Aaron Carter. I wouldn't say embarrassed that I like them, but embarrassed about some of the things they said. Mostly old hardcore punk and metal bands. That said, I still saw fear on Friday in spite of them still singing their old homophobic lyrics. I can still experience the nostalgia without liking them as people. Lost Prophets Yeah I was not happy. Ace of Bass. I hated Limp Bizkit from the start but now I get convicted of liking them with the rest of my generation by default. It's not fair. Not fair. Not fair. What are your best fighting tips? Run and if you have to fight, don't play fair. Protect your head. I'm assuming that you didn't start the fight are in self-defense mode, and the best option of avoiding the fight altogether is not an option. Go with the mentality that there are no rules, at all. Use any and all tools resources dirty tricks to end the fight as fast and decidedly as possible. No rules in a street fight. If there's more than one, you'll lose. Best thing you can do is choose one of them and ruin his day in particular. Judge your enemy well, know your limits. And if you need to, leave to fight another day. Under better circumstances. What ingredient do you think immediately destroys a dish once it's in the food? For me it's lavender. I've tried several lavender infused things all of which felt overpowered and floral. I had a cake once that had fondant on the inside. I picked it off the outside. Cut into the cake and was like hmm is this fondant on the inside? Took a bite and yep it was. Tossed it and saw other people were doing the same thing. Liquid smoke, just keep it away from me. Rose water, I got nothing. I'm culinarily promiscuous. I like it all. Fennel. Canned mushrooms. Cilantro. It's in my DNA I can't help it, 
Pensive face. Too much time really fucks up a dish beyond repair. Truffle oil. Anise. Raisins. A heavy hand when adding salt to the meal get ready to pucker up. The recipe calls for a dash of salt and your hand gives in when adding the ingredient to the cooking process. A hair. Prove me wrong. Prove me What is a common belief people have that has no actual proof? That evolution produces optimal creatures. It's a fundamental misunderstanding of how evolution works and a complete denial of the evidence that indicates that evolution results in plenty of dead end species and outcomes that are just good enough to keep reading. You know those news trends that only exist to scare suburban parents, like to date myself a bit Gen Chem, rainbow parties, etc. I think those are pretty common. That the push to open tab on the macaroni cheese box is supposed to work. That vaccines cause autism. Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. The plural of an octopus is octopi. Actually, it's octopuses. This is so because it is a Greek, not Latin root. That the earth is flat is what animals are far more affectionate than anyone would expect them to be. Cats. People say they not as affectionate as dogs. If you get the certain breeds I'm telling you now your cat will never leave you alone. Sled dogs. Worked with them in Alaska and they are absolute Spartans on the trail, but big cuddle babies otherwise. Cows. Rats. When rats like you, they will want to climb on you, lick you like a cat or dog would, cuddle and make this cute little chittering sound with their teeth called bruxing. I had one who would climb up my leg straight to my shoulder, lick my cheek, crawl over to my ear to brux as if she knew that's how I hear and she wanted to say I love you, then would take a nap in the hood of my hoodie. Ducks. They imprint on the human and love to cuddle. Cows, they are really just big dogs. Pigs, until they get big and affection turns into something kind of scary. What are some examples of modern slavery? Human trafficking victims. In Cambodia currently there are people trafficked and forced into committing cyber crime. Employer withholding passport. How Qatar built for the World Cup. People in China, Pakistan, etc. who need to work for fast fashion companies such as Shine, Zara etc. Shine. Actual slavery. Where people are bought and sold in order to provide manual labor, often for agriculture. And often that food gets sold on the regular market, so unless you buy local, and know the farmer. Chances are you've eaten food grown by literal slaves. Cobalt mining in the Congo. Construction of the Qatar FIFA World Cup 2022 stadiums. 22 stadiums. How thick does a stick need to be before you can call it a log? If it's too big to throw for a dog, it's a log. If you can pick it up then you're allowed to call it a stick. I've never thought about it, but now it's going to keep me away Chloe. 2 inch. If it's the main part of a tree then it's a log. Thick. If you can split it with an axe it's a log. If it fits on your back and great for a snack, it's log. Log, log. If it was a tree truck, it's a log. The rest are sticks. A log is a tree. A branch is from the log. A stick is from the branch. If you need two hands to lift it or if you can't lift it, it's a log. Can break in half with hands stick. Mildly retarded. I think a log is defined by its shape, not its size. That being said, I would argue that a log is a special case of a stick, but not all sticks are logs. Gun to your head what song can you sing 100 correctly under pressure? ABC song. Daft Punk around the world. Happy birthday. Under pressure. Tequila. American Pie. Is this the real life? X200B throat punch the gun holder when they start singing along with me. Regulators. All star by Smash Mouth. That MF is going to be cleaning my brains out of his clothes with baby sharks stuck in his head. Jesus of suburbia. G-L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S we fly in first class. Fiona Apple criminal. I want you back in sync sorry not sorry. Rap God. Another brick in the wall part 1, 2, and 3. Ice Ice Baby. The Humpty Dance. Pompeii by Bastille. Neon Moon. Creep radio head. This is the song that never ends. In a God of Vida. I just can't wait to be copying. We will rock you. Every time you go away Paul Young. Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls LOL. The national anthem and one by Metallica. By the latest school shooting was committed by a six year old. What are your thoughts on this tragedy? I hope the parents face criminal charges for the gross negligence that allowed a six year old to get their hands on a loaded handgun. I used to be an intern at that school, just last year. I subbed there in December for a few days. I'm not surprised that a kid brought a gun to school, not in this district. I am surprised that he knew how to use it and targeted his teacher. That terrifies me as a student teacher. It happened in my hometown. I wish it were more surprising but shit happens here a lot. The city does not take care of the kids and I doubt this will be handled right. My mom teaches in the same public school system and my brother goes to school in it too. Last year someone was shot in the parking lot of their school. I am honestly scared every day that something will happen to them. Thing How have your political views changed as you've aged? I care a lot more about local races than I used to. I understand the more direct impact it has on my day-to-day -day life. The older I get, 
the more I realize a the two-party system may be the ultimate downfall of American society. b governmental actors do not always have the citizens' best interests in mind. c the history we are taught in school is not always accurate and or may be biased. d polls are not to be taken as concrete indications of how elections will play out. x 200 b none of these are concepts I really had before becoming an adult somewhere around age 20. a lot of things have changed for sure, but I used to think that a U.S. president would always deserve some respect. I no longer think that think that think that think that people who are still practicing social distancing what is your reasoning I was practicing social distancing before it was cool and before it was mandated don't want to be close to people get the fuck out of my personal space people who are so comfortable breathing down others necks what's your issue several reasons one I've always had a personal bubble two people annoy me three I've seen how nasty people are not washing their hands putting their hands in their mouths noses coughing on them and then touching everything. I don't want your colds, germs, or fluids anywhere near me. 4. I don't get colds, I go straight to bronchitis level coughing and it lasts for weeks, it's miserable and no doctors can figure out why, so I'd rather not get sick. I fucking hate people edit why the hell is this my most popular comment? LOL. What is a disorder or health problem that no one thinks is as terrifying as it is? Endometriosis. Pretty much any mental health issue. It's almost invariably met with some variation of it's all in your head. Like, no shit. You don't tell someone with a broken femur that they're fine because it's all in your leg. Vertigo. Anxiety. It's so underlooked and causes people to kill themselves more and more. I bet it's also a major factor in every public shooting. It's like the biggest slap in the face because it's right there but everyone insists there must be something else. Diabetes. Anything that has to deal with food digestion. Eating is an essential part of daily life so disrupting it having a disease will affect almost every single waking moment. Moment. What do you hate the smell of? Bin juice the liquid left in the bottom of. Cat pee. Poultry slaughterhouses I'm a trucker, I am in and out of these facilities across the lower 48, and most slaughterhouses smell awful but, by far, poultry is the worst. Rotten potatoes. Dog anal secretions. Cheap old lady perfume, especially when in an elevator. Makes my throat close up. I hate the smell of my feet when I get off work. Bradford pear trees, bad breath, scented garbage bags. Because then the scent mingles with the scent of whatever's in the garbage and creates this awful smell. Body odor, it's nothing I can specifically pick, because it's an amalgamation of who knows what. I work in auto repair, and some customer cars can be gross. Someone else's poop aroma in the same public multi-stall bathroom. Courtesy flushes exists for a reason. Grease traps, squirrels cooking in a crock pot overnight. P guys. What's the most unattractive thing girls do that they think is attractive? Reddit consensus loudly says fake anything. Women seem to do this thing where they act like not noticing me is hot I guess. It's been 28 years, we can stop now. Hate on other girls that have nothing to do with them I dated a girl who always had something nasty to say about any girl with an eyesight got real old real quick. Those big allergic reaction lips. Try and look like Kim K or any influencer shit is like repellent for me. Dropping hints instead of just being direct. Them big ass Australian huntsman spider lashes they be wearing turn off my G. Smiley face. Fake cutesy baby voice. Act rude and entitled. Fake lips. I don't get it why they do it but they look so unbelievable disgusting. Normal lips doesn't matter if small medium or big are already so lovely emo. But implants. They look terrible. Duck lips. Glad that isn't a thing anymore. If people worry Elon Musk is going to ruin Twitter, how can he ruin something that's already garbage? I'd but adding the $20 fee for a blue check is hilarious. Now it's time to see the pretentious pricks who actually give a shit about post-secondary popularity. Yeah I don't get why people are mad. I think he's cringe but I like how he allows free speech for all sides. I know Reddit hates free speech so I'll probably get downvoted for this but yay I think free speech is important. By leaning into the things that make it garbage, and asking us to pay to use the garbage in ways that were previously free. Twitter is a cult, by recycling it. Look, as long as he doesn't remove the porn pages, I don't give a shit what he does to that dumpster fire social media site. Media site. What are your opinions on someone with no social media? Made a wise choice. Smart. You have to be actively engaged in conversation and take time to get to know a person who is not on social media. It takes more effort. And they probably have little concern about the opinions of others and don't need likes hearts or thumbs up to feel validated as a human being. That's a bonus. What used to be normal is now mysterious. No big deal. Apparently, they prefer to socialize in real life and I'm fine with that. They're unnaturally healthy. Huge congrats to them. Smart. 
They are smart. They are the coolest person in the room usually. Most of the time they're the most relaxed and chilled out person as they have no stress and don't care what you think. I automatically respect them if they're not a prick about it but I'm always curious on why so? Since I used to be that person too lol. I rather my grandparents did not have social media. They're probably happier in general. Happier in general.